with me to New York City to try out Payday 3 before it's released to the public and go to my first real life video game launch party event as Snail. to the payday team for flying me out to New York City, putting me up in this incredible Brooklyn hotel, letting me try the game, and treating me to an unforgettable real life heist at a historic bank. And the food was amazing. Of course, I took my camera everywhere and vlogged it. And I can't wait to show you everything, including some early access footage of the game. But first things first, we gotta leave Canada. So this is my first time traveling in a plane by myself. Actually really funny crossing the border because I had to explain what I was doing to the border crossing guard and I had to tell him I was a YouTuber and he was like, uh, okay, uh, have fun, I guess. <laughs> Here I am taking videos in the bathroom to send to Snail Boy because he already missed me even though it was just a couple hours. It was such a short flight. Basically we were in the air and then we were there. <laughs> I barely had time to do anything. But what I did do during that like half hour in the sky was play Payday 2 on the Switch for the first time. What a journey. Then I arrived, landed in NYC at LaGuardia Airport. I've been to New York City before I went with my friends in university and it was super fun. I actually, I got picked up at the airport by a car service and they drove me through Brooklyn to my hotel. It was a hipster paradise. Here's my room. Look at that big comfy bed, an old timey looking phone, <laughs> the view. And that's New York, baby. Beep beep. My favorite thing about the room was that there was a whole closet for the shower and there was also a Godzilla painting in the bathroom. <laughs> oh, there I am. That's me. I was like, why is my hair so messy? It's because I was on a plane for a little bit, um, but I was excited. I didn't know anyone else on the trip at this point. So I was just like, you know what? I'm going to get some food. So ready to go find the best pizza in Brooklyn. Uh, I did take off my hat and my hair was so messy that I put it back on and I was like, please no one look at that. But for some reason I recorded it so you can all see it. Why am I like this? But here I am wandering the streets of Brooklyn. I looked up on TikTok, I looked up the best pizza place. I was just living my best life wandering around, to be honest. There's me in my new brown pants, cool little pants. Those are pizza getting pants. I really liked this sign. It said, I'm gonna make you a pizza. You can't refuse. It was a little bit aggressive, but that's why I liked it. I wanted to take it to go so I could have it in my comfy hotel bed. So here I am trying to balance my slushy on my pizza box. On my way home to my hotel, I saw these eyeballs. What are those eyeballs? I don't know, but I do know that Williamsburg, New York is an artsy, artsy place. Look, made it back with the goods. This is the New Yorker pizza. It has ricotta cheese, basil, pepperoni, and Italian sausage. I am not exaggerating, this was the best pizza I've had in my life. I literally think about this pizza every day. Full on photo shoot with this pizza. Look at me, mmm, taking my bite. Mmm, it's really good. I was very passionate about the pizza. It's so good. It's actually crazy. <laughs> Here's me feeding you the pizza so that you don't feel like you are left out because you're not left out. You're all with me on the journey. Did you like it? Let me know in the comments what you thought of the pizza. The next morning I woke up and it was a rainy. There's just something about New York City being rainy that just feels right though, so I wasn't too upset. Gotta get some coffee. So I tried to get some coffee here and it didn't work. And I did cry. I was shedding a tear at this point, but thankfully the other one worked and this coffee was really good. You know, my priorities start with coffee. This was the lobby. And I, you know what I gotta say? Shout out to my guy who checked me in at the hotel because he was an angel. He was so excited to meet all the YouTubers and he subscribed to me right away. So for the afternoon, I had plans to meet up with some of the other YouTubers who were also staying at the hotel and also going to this payday event later. So I went down to the lobby and then there was a video game machine there, it was really cool. And I met up with my new friends and we went right to Domino Park. Lovely there, holy. I had so much fun talking to the other creators and getting to know them. I was actually the only Fortnite creator at the event, which was mind blowing to me. And I was so honored to be the Fortnite girl and the, the Fortnite person actually. We watched some boats and looked at the skyline. Oh, and then we got so excited because a water plane was actually landing right in front of our eyes. Well, not yet. Here it goes. Oh, there we go. I was just so happy there. And there were pigeons. It would not be a New York City vlog without a video of a pigeon. So there's my little pigeon boy, PD the pigeon, a new best friend. Now we went to a barbecue place for lunch. Oh, you know, just classic New York City barbecue. Then it was back to the hotel to get ready for the event. And there's my sink. I had so much makeup, including my Peely makeup. Spot the Peely makeup, the Fortnite Peely makeup. <laughs> And it was 
off. We walked around 60 of us and we all walked over together from the hotel to the historic Williamsburg Savings Bank, which was so stunning on the outside and the inside. You'll see in a second. This was the main event. This was the launch party that we were here to see and everyone was so excited. And we were like, what is this gonna be? We literally didn't know. And then we got in and look at this. There, oh my gosh, people get married here. And it was truly a bank, like there were vaults. that everyone there except for the other creators was a hired actor. They are fake bank tellers because this is a fake bank. That was a fake logo. That is a fake stock image poster. I actually had fun with this and I went up to one of the bank tellers and I had her make me a fake bank account. And then that's how I realized that they were actually actors. And she was so nice. She stayed in character and she was literally the best. Now we're all gathered and this guy starts giving a speech. A new Williamsburg Savings Bank. And this is where things start to go a little crazy. And it was so exciting. He's giving a speech about how he's so excited to have us all at the opening of the bank. And all the creators are standing there like, okay. And then all of a sudden, he gets interrupted. Good afternoon, New York. <laughs> and he's mad. And then we all realize that like we are part of a heist and here they all come. These are all the characters from Payday wearing their like actual Payday mask and they're telling us to get out of the way. And it's kind of scary. It was really like unexpected and sudden and amazing. It was hilarious. Payday is all about robbing banks and <laughs> and like completing heists with your friends. They're basically trying to open up the vault to steal all the gold in the bank and ruin the whole bank's life. Look what we have. Pearl and Joy are two girl characters from Payday, and they were there. Look, look, they don't give me this information. I'm a high-risk individual. And we finally got the vault open, and it was so exciting. It was full of gold and money. <laughs> it was also filled with presents for us, but we just didn't know that yet. Then this guy came towards me and I was like, ah! First I said hi, and then he was like, hey, come on! So now all of the YouTubers are the hostages and we are helping them rob the bank. And as we walked past, they handed us this huge, heavy duffel bag that was just like packed with stuff. And no one knew if we were supposed to open it or not, but I was like, I'm opening this right now. This is so illegal. <gasps> Whoa! It's money. Oh. My kid, my friend. It's, it's money. Cool. Oh, That's actually sick. I didn't think we would actually get one, but I was so hoping for one and I love it. I put it on. We all look terrifying. One of the challenges that we had to do was open up all these safes and you have to open safes in payday. So this was like very much like the game. This guy was good at it. I wasn't and I actually didn't even finish it. We actually had to stop the clock for me because it, I went over three minutes and they were, <laughs> they were like, That's enough, snail. Uh, good try though. One of the other gifts that they gave us was this really cool gold bar. It looks really realistic and it's like heavy and cool and we can take it to an engraving station and they put our names on it So I got the littlest snail then we had dinner and it was so freaking good I had another coffee because you know me even the bathrooms were super fancy. I was having a great time We were so lucky to be some of the first people to play two of the missions And I'm gonna show you some of the footage from those missions right now Okay, so here's the deal Components are kept in high security cooling containers somewhere in the storage yard. The clock starts ticking as soon as the components are out in the open. This is the trailer for 99 boxes, which is one of the heists that we got to try at the event. I was like the designated turret. Well, when we two were doing all the tasks, I was like the Fortnite player standing there gunning down all the NPCs. <laughs> I, I did accidentally get some civilians every single time, but that's just you know, on brand for me. Okay, look at these guys. I had a cat mask that was bright pink and shiny. Oh, and you can put spray paint on the mask. So that guy has no, which I just think is funny. No, 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 no. <laughs> when you play Payday, you can either play stealth or like going all in. Once you put on your mask, then you're allowed to use your gun and people will be suspicious of you. And if they see you wearing a mask, they're gonna, they're gonna call the police. And once the police come, then it's like a whole different game. You're just getting swarmed over and over. So here, okay, so this guy just eliminated a guard. Ooh, sorry about that, just so freaked out by all these shadows around here, man. It's, it's like they're watching me or something. Yeah, 
Yeah, I can see that. That's good to hear. A little heartless. There's all these tasks that you have to do, and one of them is answer the radio so that the workers don't get concerned. They're sneaking, but they have their masks on, and it's kind of like a fun way to do it. Like, it's a loud way. You can yell at hostages, and you can actually trade them with the police. I loved doing that. So I was, like, carrying my hostages around with me like they were my little buddies. This reminds me of Skyrim. It's not that hard, but I guess if you're flustered, it can be difficult to put the timing right. This reminded me of Fortnite. You can go on the zip lines. Just really cool movement. You can, you can die to fall damage, and you can revive your friends police are here! While your team is fighting off these waves and waves of cops, you have to keep looking for the loot and you have to keep depositing the loot in the van. Get them! Yeah, you can punch them. They just got the high-tech device, the cargo that needs to be transported safely to the van. This guy's the last one on his team. He has valuable stuff on him and he is fighting the police off by himself. But he needs to get to the van! They did it! This is just one of so many different unique scenarios and new heights that are in Payday 3. It's not like you have to play the same map over and over, although you can because it's not exactly the same every time. There's always the super hard challenge of trying to do it stealthily without shooting your gun, which I think is great and everyone should try that. <laughs> There's a story to each one. They're challenging, but they're not impossible. If you like this season of Fortnite with the sneaking into the balls, especially if you like working together with your squad and yelling comes at the top of your lungs. Get to the van! I think you should try Payday. It's pure fun and it's ridiculous and I love it. You can wear cool masks and that's all I need. After the event, me and some of my new creator friends went up to the rooftop restaurant of my hotel. It was such a beautiful view of Brooklyn. Look at those lights. I truly had the best time. It was so fun. This was my first time going to something in real life as me. And that's me, guys. I was super sad to leave, but it had to be done. I was up way earlier than I would have liked to be um, to get back to the airport and get back to Canada. And oh my gosh, guys, on the way out of town, I saw a snail mural. This is the best photo I was able to get of it, but there was literally a snail mural. Such an incredible trip. I'll never forget it. Thank you again so much to Payday 3 and their whole team for putting this amazing event on. I would do it again in a heartbeat, and I cannot wait to play Payday 3 some more when it comes out. I'm a huge fan now of the game. It was just truly the most fun. I can't say enough good things about it and I hope you try it. And if you want to see more of these vlog style real life videos from me, let me know and I'll see what I can do. Thank you guys for watching. I love you and I hope you have a great day. Bye!